This mode is probably the least fun I've had in Storybook Brawl. Adventurer just kind of got old after a while. This meta got old after, like, two days. Zero value from beauty. We got a bunch of beauty value in the early game. That's when beauty's good. Beauty's an early game hero. Meta? I really enjoyed the first couple months of the Shoulder Fairies meta. <laughs> first month, I should say. It just went on a bit too long. Needed to change. The Round Table Trees meta wasn't terrible. I guess that's Adventurer meta. worst part about pumpkin comps is it doesn't really matter what's on your starting board a lot of the time. It's usually just like scam units or like some small text for the matchup you're expecting. So much of what matters is just what pops out of the pumpkin. And to an extent like what treasures you have. But even then a lot of the treasures are kind of interchangeable. Well, they were thinking they wanted to make more things at 5. They were removing shoulder fairies from the 5 pool. But the idea of having something strong to look for on 5 is a good thing. It's just like the perfect storm of pumpkin being a lot of damage. And like... Being such an easy comp to be in. Like being able to pivot into pumpkin very trivially. Or with shoulder fairies you had to like put in some effort to make sure you're open to it. Pumpkin, you can have no direction on five, pick up a pumpkin, and just easily be a pumpkin comp. Like, the problem with pumpkin is more subtle than I think a lot of people give it credit for. It's easy to see in hindsight that, oh, this pumpkin patch is miserable to play, but it's not obvious that it's going to shake up that way. Because if you're just saying, like, Pumpkin was 5 on 6, what are they thinking making it 5? And, like, by that logic, we never get Shoulder Fairies meta. Because Shoulder Fairies was also good on 6. I mean, that feels like a band-aid fix to a bigger problem. I don't think 1 damage summons is a good idea. Yeah, they've been patching less and less frequently. I gotta imagine the stability issues are taking up most of their time. Um, yeah. Mobile, yeah, probably mobile's a big priority as well. Yeah, but that's the thing, you're making a change to the core mechanics of the game, rather than just changing the card that's an issue. It's usually not the way you want to affect balance. Away. The second spell slot? I don't know, they had to do something. Sphinx is ridiculous. The game is seeing a rise in popularity. Interesting. Well, I'm definitely not taking eye berries. I don't eat Haunted Helm. Plays well with Tweedledee. Round the hackball power 
Fire Spike? I don't think they are. I think just Hatball is incidentally in the game, and it's totally fine, and has been totally fine the entire time. I think they don't even need to balance around Hatball. It's just a thing that's in the game. Yeah, I'm with you, Keith. I don't get it. It's good. It comes up sometimes, but it's a treasure combo. Like, if they want to nerf Hatball, honestly, just make more level 3 treasures and throw them in the pool. If you're really that worried about it. I feel like a lot of people look at like the stats on Crystal Ball and interpret that as like Crystal Ball being this busted treasure, when in reality it's Crystal Ball is really good because you pick Crystal Ball when you have synergy for it, and when you have synergy for it, it is very good. But like, Crystal Ball is your first treasure, is still super risky. I will almost never take it as my first treasure. Ow. I'm dying. No. Oh. I'm dead. Hmm. I sort of want this. Moon. I'm increasingly thinking Slay is only a comp that you can go to when you're magically at 40 life at level 5. Because you will lose fights trying to pivot into it. For Sad Drag? No, I know what I said. I stand by it. Fury with Tweedle or Scam with Dusa Doom. I've tried to get Jorm to work on Sad Drack, but I haven't had any success. Part of that's probably because I just end up in Dorf in the mid game. And pivoting out of it's not really an option. But I feel like if you buy Lightning Dragons, you're just gonna die to one of the people in the lobby going Dorves. Or even the Pumpkin Jammers. Sometimes you can have lightning dragons and still just die to the pumpkin jammers. It's good if you get it early enough. The problem is if you're level 5 and you're missing either the mermaid or the dragon, your comp's just coming together too slow. You're likely to pick up the dragon and not get scaling on the first fight, and it just snowballs badly from there. And Riverwish Dragon isn't exact Riverwish Mermaid isn't exactly a tempo unit that you can justify randomly picking up. So realistically, you have to find the dragon first. Have a comp that wants a dragon. And then hope that you pick up Mermaid in time. And I guess part of the reason why I don't end up in it as much is I just haven't been buying very many stags. Which is the main unit that 
once Lightning Dragon on four. Um, it's not a pumpkin. There's six counter white. What do you mean another? This is pretty rare. Just at level four, we kind of ended up stuck in evils, so you haven't been able to buy dwarves. No, my comp. Okay. Well, at least the pumpkin's not upgraded. Perfect fireball range. This is like the opposite of the tournament finals, where the guy who got second started buying pumpkins last minute, realizing pumpkins were good. We're just buying dwarves last minute, realizing dwarves are good. Ah, oh, fuck. Hit a pumpkin in your finals match. Yeah. Yeah. That happened to me day one. My first match, I was in pumpkinless pumpkin, died on like 6.3, never seeing a pumpkin, and then I just tilted myself off of evils and lost the rest of my lobbies. Six life. I don't know why I did that. You had the best turn ever. Celestial Tiger, Noble Steed, Runestone, Slay Princess, Prox, it's Magic Sword. Same turn, Nutcracker for Pandora's Box. Genie's Wish, get an XP. Nice. Tiger has some wacky games for sure. still want this in one. Okay. My pumpkin has evolved into a murder pumpkin. Surprise BB isn't dominating the pumpkin meta. Like, beauty makes pivoting into pumpkin a little bit easier, but it's already so easy to pivot into pumpkin that it doesn't even matter. Cannot crock with the Ambrosia. I 
<laughs> Morty, I don't think we're lordying. I don't know. This is cool. Murder pumpkin. meta it was fun before I even realized what the meta was I don't think that took very long I feel like on patch day we were already concerned that pumpkins were too good For those of you that played in the beta, how did Pumpkin get through but Bearstein not? Bearstein looks so much safer on paper. seriously sure but that would explain why pumpkin gets through but i don't know why bearstein didn't i don't think it is i think it's way easier to get into pumpkin than capetto especially when the uh, bearstein's not giving you a buff it's just doubling the stats of the summons They were going to remove the 2-2 buff from Bearstein and put it to level 5. So is Dogwater. So is Bearstein. <laughs> <laughs> the only good Bearstein comps were good boy comps, which have been nerfed. make pumpkin even stronger. I don't think so. I don't think they complement each other very well. It would give a competing build on five. Maybe. Maybe. 